let's get nice and cozy for today's video. Before we dive in, I really want to emphasize that wanting to have a healthy lifestyle is not just about wanting to fit into those jeans that you have been struggling with or wanting to see that number on your scale. It is so much more than that. It goes so far beyond the superficial. So as we go through this video and as we go into this new beginning and this fresh start of the new year, I want you to please, please remind yourself of that. You're not just making these big life changes to look skinnier or to get the body that you want or to fit into those jeans. It's about caring for your future self, for your future family. It's about wanting to build more resilience, about feeling Feeling more happy, feeling more positive, feeling more energized, so then you can be more productive and achieve those goals that you have been wanting to achieve, becoming a better person. This is what's going to help you to keep moving forward and keep pushing through on those days that you wake up and you are just dreading going to the gym or going for a run or you just want mcdonald's every single day whatever those bad habits are that we are trying to remove in this new year remind yourself that there is a much bigger purpose for why you are doing this and making this change in your life all right so are we ready you guys because i am so excited i am so pumped for today's video if you guys are ready do me a huge favor give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button also comment down below heck yes so that i know that you guys are with me on this journey of becoming our best selves in 2024 and building the life that we deserve now let's get into it i had to get some water y'all i was dehydrated let's kick it off with some fitness now i know the gym can be intimidating especially in january because we have all of these new year resolutionaries going to the gym wanting to get fit and starting the new year on a positive note building a healthy habit it can be intimidating you see a lot of people that are doing different types of exercises or maybe you see other people who are already super fit and you're just like where do i even start what does this machine even do i can't even lift more than 20 pounds right now why am i so weak I don't even belong here. Everyone's staring at me. All of those thoughts were definitely going through my mind when I first went on my big resolution of going to the gym two years ago and it did not help at all. I went into the new year with this mindset of all or nothing. I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym for one hour every single day. I'm gonna be doing cardio. I'm gonna be running like two miles. I was going in with these big goals and no idea on how to achieve them. My only goal was to lose weight. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to get skinny. It led me to fall out of routine because I was getting bored with going to the gym. I didn't find anything exciting about it. I hated cardio, but I thought that was the only way that I could lose weight. It wasn't fun. So I stopped going and I filled my unhappiness with eating more junk food, watching more Netflix, and not moving my body at all. So at the beginning of this year, I decided to go with a different approach. I decided to research the actual way to build muscle and lose weight because I realized that I wanted to feel stronger at the same time. By me having more knowledge of what I had to do, I felt more confident going into the gym. And I was on my own journey. I wasn't comparing where I was to everyone else because I knew what I wanted my result to be. And I also, instead of going one hour every single day, I focused on just showing up. So whether that was 20, 30 minutes, as long as I was showing up, that's what mattered. And it wasn't just about showing up to the gym, but it became about showing up just about moving my body every single day. So if I couldn't make it to the gym, then I would grab my laptop and I would bring out my yoga mat and I would do some guided workouts on YouTube. That helped me to stay consistent. It made me more excited and more happy wanting to work out. So instead of just jumping into the deep end, start small. Five, 10 minutes of movement every single day. I know it may seem useless, but it's better than doing nothing. Those small little steps add up every single day. Also, who says that exercising can't be fun? Find a type of movement that gets you excited, that brings you joy. Dancing, hiking, swimming, 
um, jump roping, bicycling, doing yoga, doing Zumba. Now on to nutrition. You know those moments when you literally just finish eating and you're still hungry? That's what just happened to me. Like 20 minutes before shooting this video, I ate a sandwich. Right when I was about to start recording, it started to grumble. So I was like, all right, let's grab an apple because an apple day keeps the doctors away. Whenever we think of nutrition, especially me, the first thing that comes to my mind is a diet or restrictions, vegetables, disgusting not yummy not tasty there is no need for all that there is no need for those complicated diets okay the keto diet the mediterranean diet the vegetarian diet whatever other diets there are there is no need for that you are gonna thank me for this message all you need is balance all right you need a healthy balance between the things that you really enjoy that are very tasty like sweets <laughs> and fried foods and the healthy stuff that actually gives your body the nutrients that it needs and makes it stronger now and well into the future. Leafy greens and protein and fruits and all that stuff. Let me ask you this, okay? The last time that you ate fried food, let's say you had a McDonald's or maybe you went to like Cold Stone or something and you got yourself a nice, yummy chocolate ice cream with chopped Oreos and pecans, chocolate syrup, marshmallow, cookie dough. Y'all, I really want some ice cream right now. How did you feel afterwards? Because I know in the moment, our taste buds are in heaven. They are very happy. They are satisfied. But afterwards, you probably feel like you need to take a nap. You might have a stomach ache. You might have to rush to the bathroom or you may feel very bloated. Unfortunately, I sure do. But on the contrary, whenever you eat something healthy, you feel more energized. You feel stronger. Starting in this new year, I encourage you to, again, don't go into the deep end. Don't change your whole diet. Like no pasta, no rice, no brownies, no chocolate. You have to start small. Make small adjustments every single day and also set up a plan. Find three to four easy recipes that you can do every single day that actually are good for you and actually are beneficial to your body. Like for me, the first recipe that I started with, which is a forever now because I make this recipe every single time that I meal prep on Sundays and that's my overnight oats. It is so easy to make. It's great for digestion. It's great for weight loss. It has all the nutrients that you need, the fiber, the protein, and it makes you feel full. So it's a win-win. You can add in your fruits. You can add in some peanut butter. You can add in some chocolate chips. This doesn't have to be boring. Smoothies also have been a game changer. I literally just put a bunch of stuff into my blender and it ends up tasting amazing. Spinach, peanut butter, pineapple, blueberry, strawberry, protein powder some banana I also make sure to always have some type of protein in my lunch and in my dinner I always make sure to have some type of veggie also drink lots of water because water makes you feel more full and it doesn't leave you hangry all the time and also water has like 10,000 other benefits which i also have a video on that if you guys want to go check it out don't forget to treat yourself okay because we are only human now let's talk about mindset okay because you guys know that our thoughts create our reality if you don't know that by now where have you been i am concerned as we step into this new year i need you to cultivate these five mindsets for the new year growth empowerment positivity success and productivity those five mindsets will allow you to conquer your life as you guys know i was working in a corporate environment and i knew nothing about any of the positions that i was being promoted to like human resources and management as soon as i was getting home i was literally researching how to be an hr professional how to be successful in management what are the skills that I need? I would take those skills and then I would apply it at my job. And I was seeing results, you guys. I was very curious. I was always asking people that were in upper management to help me, to give me tips. And that benefited me so much because I succeeded in my position and I was even promoted to a higher position after that. I proved to myself that when I put my mind to something and I literally learn the skills that I need to learn and I practice them, I can become whoever I want to be and so can you. So I don't want you going into this new year thinking that you are set in stone, that you can't change, 
that you can't become this successful person, someone who has a work-life balance, someone who goes to the gym, who is fit, who is healthy. You can become that person if you put in the work to learn the skills that you need to learn and then you actually implement it and practice it every single day. You're gonna become that person without a doubt. Let me give you guys a homework to do today. After this video, I want you to find at least two, three people that you look up to, that you want to have their lifestyle, their routines, their habits. I want you to get a sheet of paper or even on your phone, go on your notes and write down the name of these people. You're gonna write down what are the skills, what are the habits that they have, what is it in their lifestyle that you see that you want to add into your own life and how are they doing it? How did they achieve it? What what are the steps that they took to get there? And that's your guide, you guys. Last but certainly not least, self-care. A practice that is usually underestimated, um, but actually it is the key that holds our sanity in this fast-paced world. I, for one, really need to start prioritizing more of this. Just from like taking a day, a week, to either get my nails done or do a hair mask, do a face mask, put on some of these eye thingies under my eyes, taking a nice bath, lighting a candle, whatever it is where I am enjoying it and it's bringing me peace, it's allowing me to de-stress and feel happy. Let's start filling our own cup and finding daily things that bring us joy. I think it's a plan. All right, you guys, and there we have it. We just went over the main pillars that make up a vibrant and a happy, healthy lifestyle. So we can take these pillars into the new year without feeling overwhelmed, feeling like we have to go in with this all or nothing mindset, feeling lost, just not knowing where to start. As we approach this new year, let's go on this journey together, supporting each other, uplifting one another every step of the way. And let's remember that the goal is not to just fit into our genes, but to be more resilient, positive, energized and fulfilled in our days and well into the future i'm sending all of the positive vibes to y'all right now as always i appreciate you guys so so much go check out my blog and my website down below i also have some freebies on there and some cool merch that you can check out stay happy stay healthy and stay blessed oh my oh my what a one